Hi and welcome to the Comfy Red Couch. My name is Tracy and I'm your host. I am coming to you from a gray day in Toronto. I think this is going to be the last full podcast that I do from the couch in Toronto. It is definitely, well, it's, it's comfy. During the week, it is red. It has the red quilt on it, but my red blanket has been packed away, so things are looking a little bit different. The picture that is normally behind the map of Disneyland has been packed. There's a nail in the wall. I tried to pull it out. I couldn't do it. Priorities, you know. Anyway, so things are looking a little different. I think this is going to be the last full podcast from my beautiful home in Toronto. And I am doing Vlogtober this month, so chronicling the journey out west and the daily adventures through October as we continue to pack things up. And then when we move, I will be chronicling those on Vlogtober. So maybe uh, if you have a few moments each day, you can join me there. We're going to go across the country. We're going to drive from Toronto to Vancouver. And I'm really looking forward to that. So I'm excited that I woke up the other day and I thought, Vlogtober, that's a really great idea. And um, so I will be checking in with you every day. So this will be the last Comfy Red Couch podcast from Toronto, but I will continue on the other side. I may rename though. I may rename. We will see. Because my couch has not really been truly red for quite some time and I have a, a fun name that I have in the back of my mind for the new for the new location, but I will share that as the month progresses. Anyway, I do have a lot to talk about. I've got bins beside me. I've got boxes behind me. I'm surrounded by chaos. I absolutely am. But I do have to say I have missed podcasting and I've missed visiting with you. So I'm so glad to be back, even if it is, sadly, from my living room here in Toronto for the last full podcast. Oh, there will be tears this month. I know it. I, I've been pretty good so far, but I know sometime this month there will be tears. Anyway, let us move on to the next part, which is letting you know where you can find me. I am Tracy RR on Ravelry and I am at Comfy Red Couch on Instagram. As I said, I may change my name a little bit later in the month or maybe into November. Still thinking about it, but um, I will let you know as we progress. And so that's where you can find me. I recently found out that Bell Canada, who is our internet, phone, TV provider, doesn't really have a setup in the West. So after 20 plus years, I am about to lose my internet, my email address. And I'm not too happy about it. So I've been having to change different things to another email address that I have that I know will be secure. But oh my goodness, all the little things that you don't think about when you're moving or you just kind of, I guess I'm just so ethnocentric with, you know, Bell Canada should be across Canada. No, it's not. All those little things. Anyway, making it through, making it through. Uh, so I have told you where you can find me. Best way to message me, because my email address is changing, is Seriously, just DMing me on Instagram is probably the easiest way to get me. And yeah, I've got, I'm stuck now. I'm stuck. I'm trying to remember how to podcast. It's been way too long. Sometimes I feel like it's a little bit of a predictable journey through the introduction. You know, I start off with a welcome. I talk a little bit about the weather. I then let you know where you can find me. And then I go on to my welcome message. And I'm now at the welcome ma message. So a huge welcome to everybody who is visiting with me today. And I want to say a huge thank you to returning viewers especially for your patience over the past month and a bit while I have been packing up house and prepping. We have sold the house. We have purchased a new house in Vancouver. I am surrounded by boxes. It's utter chaos. 
and of course in that all I think at some point I'm going to get some knitting time but then I look to my right here I don't see a whole lot although I do have two bins full of stuff that I'm going to talk about in a little bit so a huge welcome back to returning viewers and thank you so much for your patience as I have not been very present the past month and a bit and I have noticed as well since I started Vlogtober that I have several new subscribers so huge welcome to anyone who is new to the podcast and thank you so much for joining me I hope that you will enjoy my regular podcast and um, I'm just so happy to have you visiting with me today it's now time for tea time and I'm going to have to say I kind of cheated because I filmed Vlogtober before I started filming the podcast and I made myself a cup of tea and normally what I do is on podcast day I set up, then I go make my tea, I put my tea there, and then I do not have a sip of tea until I do the cheers. I cheated today because things were a little bit different. Today I am drinking out of my lovely mug from Marjolaine Bastin, and it's a Hallmark mug. I had 13 of them. I donated 12 and I kept one. This one didn't get packed with the rest of the things I realized afterwards. Oops, we missed one and uh, when we were packing and that's okay. It means I have a nice mug that I can drink out of. We tried to be a little bit minimalistic. We've got four plates, five bowls I miscounted, um, six little plates, I can't count apparently and then I missed a couple of mugs well and then I have four of the blue mugs and then um, a couple of ones that did not get wrapped and packed and that's one of this one is one of them today I am drinking microwaved tea because yeah that's what it's come to but I would like to cheer to I think today I'm going to cheer to my beautiful home that you have visited with me in for the past few years if you are a returning viewer and if you're new welcome to my beautiful home it has provided a warm place for myself my husband and my children and I am going to say I am going to miss my home there are going to be tears this month. There are. I just know it. So, for the most part, this has been a very happy place to live. And, you know, of course, there have been some times of strife and frustration, but um, I do love my home here. So, I would like to say a huge cheers to the home that has held the comfy red couch for 15 and a half years. Cheers. And I'm looking at my stained glass window because I love it. Usually on my favorite things, I'm telling you about things that I've been up to the past week. On my right have been things I've been up to for the past month and I'm sort of I don't know, if, I'm not really embarrassed to say, but I've been having a little bit of a knitting slump. So what is to my right is not as much as I would have hoped or thought it would have been back in the early summer. But you know what? I've gotten the things done that I've wanted to get done. And um, a couple of those, actually they're all test knits. They are all test knits that I have been focusing on. So we'll start off with this first test knit and this is a test knit for Helen Stewart who is Curious Handmade and this is the Shawl Society Pattern 6 Season 5, Season 5 Pattern 6. This will be released this upcoming Thursday so that's October 7th and it has been living in my bird leg bags, the Gastly's bag. Fun, fun bag. And I can only share my yarns. Now I will say I did cast off yesterday, thank goodness, but I do still have to secure my ends, block, 
photograph and have it all ready for Thursday when I share it with you on Instagram. And you know what? We are going to also share it on Vlogtober. So since this will be the last podcast, I'm going to share this on Vlogtober. And there's Thursday taken care of. We're going to talk about a new release shawl, which will be exciting. So the yarns that I've used are all Madeline Tosh Merino Light. So, so Tosh Merino Light. And I have used colors that I chose back in the spring. So when I first saw this pattern, it was spring. And these were the first ones that came to my mind. But I didn't cast on right away. I kept thinking maybe I'll change my mind. But I ended up going with the ones that I originally wanted to use for it. And it kind of reminds me of a strawberry shortcake. So I have titled this shawl my strawberry shortcake shawl. My color A is Farmhouse White. Again, Tosh Merino Light. My color B is, oh, I just love this pink. And of course, this takes me back to when I was 16 years old and my favorite movie was 16 Candles. This is Molly Ringwald. It's a beautiful pink, glorious pink. And then my color C is this colorway called Strawberry Rhubarb Pie. And this was a special colorway for Jimmy Bean's yarn or Jimmy Bean's wool company. Um, Jimmy Bean's had a special colorway and it was Strawberry Rhubarb Pie. And these are my three yarns together. One of the problems I did find was that the pink here, they go really nicely together, but the way that the knitting was working in the shell is sometimes a little bit of this yarn would get lost when it was near this one because the pinks were similar in some spots like right there blends perfectly so probably not my smartest choice but you know what I was just really happy to use this yarn because I've had these yarns in my stash for quite some time and I think pretty much for all of this year's shawl society I shopped from stash and that's a that's a nice feeling when you can just go to your stash and especially if you know what colors you want to use. And like I said, this was, I think, the first shawl that I saw a picture of for the entire series. And it was spring, I was wanting pinks. And right now it kind of feels a little weird. I think I should be using oranges and greens and colors like that, you know, very fall colors. But I've gone with spring, summer, and that's okay, it's like summer 365. Anyway, that is living in my Gasly's bag. I do need to block it, and then I will share that with you later this week on Vlogtober. The next project that I am going to share with you is living in the beautiful bag that Sam and Christine made for me. I believe Sam did the embroidery and then Christine did the bag and I love this bag. It was really nice to, to use it. It has this fun washing symbols fabric inside. There's a pocket as well with the clothes line on there too. And this is, I am so naughty. I have finished this test knit that I did for Jules Hill, who is So Sweet Violet. But you know what? I haven't documented it on Ravelry at all. I haven't taken a photograph yet. I haven't even told Jules that I finished it, I think. Um, finished. Uh, <laughs> I did this when I was at my mom's and when the house was up for sale and yeah I haven't documented it at all but I do need to. So this is a test knit that I did for Jules. It is the Wondrous Wash Mitt or I think it's Wash Mitt not Bath Mitt 
Um, and of course, do I, it is the Wondrous Wash Mitt, I think. Wondrous Wash Mitt. I always want to call it Bath Mitt, but it's the Wondrous Wash Mitt. And in, I guess the, the inspiration was probably Jules's Wondrous Wash Cloth which is for dishes. And this is the a bath mitt, basically. And I have used Katona Shapeus yarn, and this is um, a very bright, corally pink. And I was gonna make it for my mother, but then she says, I only want white. So this is the Wondrous Wash Mitt, and it is a lovely little mitten that goes over your hand. It has a scrubby side here, and on the back it is stockinette. I have not blocked it. I have been a very bad test knitter with this pattern, but I did finish it, which after release, but only a couple days after release. Not too bad, but yeah, I guess I probably should have uh, taken photographs and done all that. I should make sure I do that. I think part of my hesitation was that I did not, rem I don't remember what day I started this. So anyway, this is the Wondrous Wash Mitt and it just fits nicely over your wrist. I did large, there are two sizes. This one's large, um, probably for my own hand, I could have done small, but um, I, just, I just wanted something that was a little bit um, fun and um, different to do so I did do the the large size and it was fun using some of my Shapeus Katona yarn because I've got quite a bit of it. Anyway that is something that I did finish but haven't shared yet and I do need to be good and record that. I did throw another ball of yarn in there from Shapeus and this was going to be for a second one. I was going to do one for my mom and one for my dad, but then my mother said she only likes white because then she can bleach it. Um, so I just, I didn't. Anyway, um, on the original pattern, Jules has a bow, but I wasn't really feeling in an embellishing mode at that point, so I have not put a bow on my wash mitt, my wondrous wash mitt. Anyway, that is what was living in here. It is a finished object, and I really do need to record that properly. And now that I've done that, I can take my glasses off because yeah, that's how it goes. The next project that I'm going to share with you has been finished for quite some time. I have shared it on Instagram and on Ravelry. I was a little bit better of a test knitter at that point. Now I have to say, this has been living in my beautiful Made by Awesome Granny Firefly bag. And oh, I love this bag. It's got the orange polka dots inside, so bags by Awesome Granny. And this was the Shawl Society Pattern 5, Season 5. And I used Shalimar Airy yarn. And I also used that for the first pattern this year as well. And I've used it for a couple of other shawls. And I absolutely love it. Unfortunately, I don't think it's made anymore. And I don't know if there are any other similar yarns. This has merino silk mohair in it and it's just such a lovely blend. So my two colors, I used Tangerine Dream and this is again Shalimar Airy. There are a couple of stores that have a little bit left of some different colorways and oh their colors are beautiful. And this one is Gunmetal. I have a tiny bit left in my stash of Shalimar, some other colors, and um, I look forward to knitting with them because it is really nice to knit with. This is the Veranda Shade Shawl. As I said, this was pattern five, and 
this is my version of it and I have to say I absolutely love how it has turned out I love the tangerine dream with the gunmetal it is where my next shawl is very springy this one to me screams fall and I'm really looking forward to wearing this with my rain jacket. I have a beautiful yellow rain jacket. I know I don't like the color yellow, but I love my yellow rain jacket. And I think this will go really nicely. And I've used this color before. This is a color that is used in my on the Spice Market shawl. And I also use this orange in the first shawl pattern. I think that was the Curling Mist shawl. I think that's what it was. Um, Anyway, I absolutely love how this has turned out. It is very, very drapey. And I need to take a photograph on my newly painted porch, my veranda, because we painted the porch uh, wrought iron by Benjamin Moore. And I just think this will look so, so nice on it. So I do need to make sure I take a photograph before we move. But look at those colors now I did debate do I do the gray up here and then the bands of lattice is what I'm calling it lattice in orange but I'm really happy with the order that I chose my yarns but yes I have a beautiful finished object that has been released for quite some time that I just have not shared with you here I've shared it on Instagram and on Ravelry, but oh, absolutely love it. I just love how it's turned out. And um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep it out or pack it away for when we move, because it would be nice to have this shawl. I do have my on the spice market that I have pulled to wear as a shawl when we are out and about driving across the country. Anyway, that is a beautiful finished object that I am so happy to finally be able to share with you. And look at how perfect my yarns were for my bag. Like just these yarns and this bag were the absolute perfect, perfect match. And I'm not sure when I will use this beautiful project bag again. This is it reminds me of spring, um, June, firefly season, um, but makes me happy. Anyway, those are all of my finished objects, and I think I will now move on to brown paper packages. I know I need no more things. I really, I really don't. But there were a couple of things that caught my eye. I'm going to start off actually with something that I needed to buy. I was doing a lot of painting in August, early September, and my hands were disgusting. And I went to our local Benjamin Moore store because I wanted to get a new paintbrush and I needed to get some more paint. And, you know, I've had my fingernails have been breaking. I've got a few little spots where the dry skin, ugh, you know, hurts. Um, they had this O'Keeffe's Working Hands, and I've had it now for a little bit of time, um, probably close to a month now. I don't use it every day, but you don't need a lot. You just need a tiny little bit. When you put it on, it is very hydrating, but it has a weird sort of um, tacky feel to it, but I do have to say my hands, especially when I was doing things like, you know, washing out paintbrushes and, um, my hands really, really appreciated this. So moving forward, I may need to get a little bit more of this in my life, especially when I'm working with the yarns and my, my hands do get very dry. So at uh, the end of the night, when I'm going to bed, I put a little bit on and rub it in. Right now, it, like I said, it's a bit tacky. You don't want to use too much. And the guy in the, the paint store did say to me, um, don't use too much. Like It feels really nice when you're rubbing it in. But yeah, if you put too much on, it's sticky. It's 
it's really sticky but that was one thing I did buy and I did want to mention that I have had um, it has felt like it's been very helpful because my fingers were got a little bit of a got a little bit of a cuticle issue there um, so sore but definitely does help okay yarny type purchases I think I did mention that okay so I have not bought any advents I decided this year I was not going to purchase any advents but when Beth of Beehive Yarns posted that she was having like a Halloween 13 day advent I lost my mind and I picked up the enchanted forest and inside so a little bit of a uh, it's not really a spoiler because I'm not going to open them yet but if you want to see inside the box when you open it up it's a cute little box it has this postcard on it and just oh those pictures are just dreamy dreamy the colors oh the inspiration so so excited there is a little bit of paper that I have not opened yet and then inside there are lots of little rat shaky goodies and there are more than 13 things in here. I think there's a couple days where there's a little bit more than 13. So this is the numbering on it. And they're all nicely wrapped. I do have to decide whether I am going to take this in the car as we are driving west and open but I don't think I'm going to appreciate it as much as if I were just solved. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on. So I'm almost thinking that when we arrive at the new home and I unpack it, that I could start on Halloween and then do the 13 days after Halloween, or I could just open them all up on Halloween. I don't know. Anyway, I am so, so excited to see what is in here. I will be using Beth's advent from um, last year for one of my projects coming up soon. So I'm not going to be completely beehive yarn deprived. I'll, I'll have some, but I'm very much looking forward to seeing what is in this gorgeous, gorgeous box. But yeah, I think I'm going to pack it away with some things and um, open it on the other side. Okay, speaking of Halloween, oh, I couldn't say no, I couldn't, I just couldn't. I saw this bag on Instagram and I was instantly enabled. I, I just, I couldn't help myself. It was Haunted Mansion. I love Haunted Mansion. My favorite mug is my Haunted Mansion mug. It has now been packed away. So I'm needing some Haunted Mansion in my life. I'm needing to put my glasses on. Um, this was a bag by um, Stitching Plaza. And yes, it has the Haunted Mansion wallpaper. And then if you've ever been on the Haunted Mansion ride, there are the stretching portraits and they have Disneyfied the stretching port portraits with characters, all the villains. So you've got Cruella de Vil, the Red Queen, Captain Hook and Maleficent. Oh my gosh, look, doesn't Maleficent look magnificent? Oh, what a great name, Maleficent. Anyway, this is my wonderful Halloween bag and I have popped in, oh my gosh, okay. So I was really, really naughty. I broke into one of the boxes that I had closed. I had no idea which yarn was going to be in there. I was playing like yarn roulette. I needed a skein of yarn. And I just, I was drawn to this one particular box that I knew had yarn in it. And I hit the jackpot. I hit the Viola jackpot. So in this bag, I'm going to be knitting something from Viola Yarns in the spruce colorway. So I needed a bag so that I could, you know, have a project. 
and I think I'm going to, I'm trying to decide, I've got a bit of a highlight color to choose here, so I'm trying to decide between three colors. I love this soft pink, but I don't think I have enough. <sighs> Gray is safe. And then I have this beautiful aqua, turquoise. So I'm leaning towards that for this project that I'm going to be working on. And there's the gray, safe as I said. I do love, I always love pink and green, but as I said, I don't think I quite have enough, although I might mix and match, I don't know. We shall see. Anyway, secret project. Little bit of a spoiler there. I'm not saying anything more about it other than it is going in my wonderful, wonderful new Halloween bag from Stitching Closet that I, I just, I showed it to Isaac on um, FaceTime and he just, he thought it was wonderful. Cause it is, it's absolutely wonderful. And I know I need no more bags. <sighs> I know I need no more bags yet. Then I saw that Jules and her lovely Bryony were making these beautiful bee bags. And look at this gorgeous bee with little sequins on it. And oh, mine is just so, so lovely. Even if it has yellow in it, it's all good. And there's this cute little pull at the end and Jules bags are always so nicely made so well well made and then there is a bit of yellow inside and a little ring to put some stitch markers on and there is a secret pattern in here too so I have some knitting ahead of me. Usually I share with you, you know, my new purchases and they're like flat, brand new, but no, these ones have actually been stuffed with yarn already. And while I've tried not to be too crazy, and of course with the move, I haven't um, been able to order too much because with change of address, you don't want to have stuff sent to the wrong house. I just, <sighs> couldn't resist. I could not resist. Anyway, that is what I have to share on brown paper packages and oh, they are all just so, so wonderful. It's now time for bits and bobs and really I should rename this bins and bobs today because we're going to go through some bins and I need a reality check. Okay, so Bits and Bobs is usually my segment where I talk about anything and everything not necessarily knitting related. We've got Vlogtober to talk about not necessarily knitting related things. So today it's all about the knitting and trying to figure out what I'm going to be taking with me in the car because we are going to be doing a 4,000 kilometer trek across this country and I need knitting. I absolutely need knitting and I do have some test knits that I'll be working on. So, as I mentioned, this will be coming in the car with me. This will be coming in the car with me. So these have a reserved space in the bin. Now, I am happy to say that on, I can pack this away now. On Wednesday, they're going to come and pick up all of the boxes that are over to my right and then a few other things. Um, I think I will pack up the knitting stuff to go with the next load which will be the Tuesday after Canadian Thanksgiving so that's the 12th. This I will share with you on Thursday and then it is going to be packed away with my knitting things and while I was thinking of maybe working on another mitt I think I need to focus on a few test knits, so, or I want to focus on a few test knits. So I think that is not going to come with me. Where originally I had a whole bin filled with stuff. We have a dog, a cat, and a kid, and two adults in a car. Um, 
while I would love to have a huge bin of knitting, I have to also be a little bit realistic about space. So I have two bins that I have tried to organize. I'm going to take one bin in the car with me and then the other bin is going to be packed up to be shipped with the moving truck. So let us go through what I, this one is the, what I had originally thought I was going to bring with me. And I think maybe I won't now. This is my crochet blanket. And well, it would be really nice to, you know, when I need some mindless work to, to do and keeping my hands busy, I did think it would be nice to work on the crochet blanket. I think I would rather focus on especially the knit vent test knit that's going to be a the big one. So um, when I left you last, I put the unicorn there. The unicorn is still there. And I think when we get to Vancouver, the unicorn will still be there. So that one, I believe, is going to be packed away to be seen on the other side and not worked on in between. I had thought about making several wondrous dishcloths as we were driving so that when we arrived, I would have some lovely dishcloths. And I pulled my needles, I had the pattern, and then of course I had lots of Katona Shapios yarn. I'm gonna pull the needles out of that and put that away properly. Um, I think I am not going to focus on that. And you know what, while I'm thinking about it, let me pull these two bits of Katona and put those back with the rest of the Katona stash. So, best laid intentions not happening right now. Oh, I shared this with you a while back. So my chuck, my orange chuck, I've worn it a couple of times since fall has begun. I had chosen some pink yarn to make another chuck. I was not sure whether I went with the right pink. I never made it back to um, see if I, you know, was right or wrong about the pink. Um, I think that I am not going to work on Chuck while we are heading west. I would love to, but I think that'll be something that I hopefully do in November, late November, December. I do have my crochet hooks that I'm going to put to the side. They may, they may not need to come with me. And in this bag here, I have yarn for a knit vent project, but I don't have the pattern yet. So unless I get the pattern, I don't think I'm going to take this in the car with me. My priority will actually be on the earlier knit vent releases, and I think that one's a little bit later. This is a project that I thought would be nice to take in the car with me. It's in this beautiful so, um, uh, sparrow, sparrow, um, sweet sparrow yarns, I think, sweet sparrow yarns. Um, very beautiful bag. And in here I had started a hat in some Nora George it's a cashmere or it's a it's either silk merino or a merino cashmere yarn I think it's silk merino um, I had some beautiful soft colors I have some yellow in here too um, I just thought it'd be nice to make a hat I started this a while back like last year I think at some point or earlier this year no last year um, I think I am not going to take this in the car with me because I probably won't prioritize it. And then I have another knit vent project. Again, I don't have the pattern for it yet. If I do get the pattern, maybe I will pull it and 
secret yarn in there as well. And then I have my bird leg bags, Paris bag, and this has my second love note in it. And my second love note is actually well underway. The body is completed. I just need to do the sleeves. So I am debating whether I keep this with me and finish it off. It would be really nice to have that done. And there's really not a lot that needs to be completed, just sleeves and a neckline. And it's going to be so beautiful once I'm finished. I'm using La Bien Aime in Fiori and I'm using the Merino Singles held double with the mohair silk, both Fiori colorway. And this may or may not end up in the car with me. It may be something that I will try to work on before we, before we leave. We'll see, I haven't decided. And that leaves me with a bin that I need to fill up and these will be the things that I don't take with me. They will go with the moving truck. The things that I do take with me, I'm gonna get them all mixed up. I'm gonna have to go back and watch the podcast to make sure I remember. I am going to take this pink hazel bag um, so that I can throw, especially if I'm using two yarns or uh, more, that I can just throw my yarns in and it becomes an easy carry bag. Right now I have a ball of Scrumptious Pearl in the Birdie Box colorway because vanilla socks are a good thing to take on a road trip. And then I have a knit vent project I do have the pattern for and I do want to make this one a priority talking about road trips. I have my holiday road bag, bird leg bags, and I call this one my holiday road. This is my happy camper bag, and I have two balls of sock yarn in here, again, for vanilla socks. Two pairs of vanilla socks plus all the other projects. I think at least one of those needs to go into the See you on the other side bin. I do have my bag of notions in here. So I've got my stitch saves, I've got some tape. I need to pull that to sew ends in right now, so I'll put that on the knitting table. I've got counters, more counters. The most important thing, a nail file. I have stitch markers. I have a ruler. All the important stuff is in here and this will definitely be in the bag to carry. And then I have two boxes of band-aids. I love these next care ones. They're really great for when I get yarn burn on my finger. And I'm going to bring my DPNs and my DPNs, there's also my little cable news. These are my signature DPNs, and I just, I love this case. So this is definitely coming too, as is the Chow Gu interchangeable set. And I think maybe since I saw you last, I didn't mention, I did pick up a couple of ends that they didn't, the sizes weren't included in this kit, but they were like, um, between two sizes. So I think there's a three millimeter or no, it's a two point. Between the 2.75 and the 3.25, these are the three millimeter. Three millimeter don't come in the pouch. That was not very smart. Um, and so I purchased those and then I also got the 10.75 and so I have a 10.5 and an 11, um, sorry, 6.5 millimeter and an eight millimeter. This is the seven millimeter. So that is what I purchased a couple extras for and that will be coming 
in the car with me as well. And I'm going to try and keep my fixed circulars with the project. Now, this is my Bits and Bobs blanket, and I do believe I will be bringing this with me in the car because it's a little bit of mindless knitting. The only problem is that I now have to hand wind this ball of yarn for the eye cord if I get to it. So I'm not 100% sure whether I'll bring Bits and Bobs in the bins and bobs bin with me. Not sure. But most definitely this is being packed. This is my Beeha Beehive Yarns Advent from last year and this is the festive fairy tale. I have the pattern right at the top. This is the inspiration postcard and the colors are absolutely lovely, lovely. So this is an advent, a knit vent pattern that I will be test knitting and I am going to knit it as we are driving and I'm really looking forward to starting this one. So this is definitely a coming with project. I need to get the needles for it. And as I said, I've got them here but um, I do prefer to work on my fixed circulars. So these are some of the things that will definitely be coming. I need to, as I said, I do want to bring this bag so that I can have it on the floor if I drop yarn and I can work out of it. This is a pink hazel bucket bag. I don't know if that's the actual name, but that is there to go. And as I said, I want to bring this and I do have the pattern for this in here too. This is a knit bent pattern as well. So those are, I think the pattern's in here. Yeah. So those are going and I just really need to decide whether I bring this to finish off my second love note or whether I bring bits and bobs. I really don't, you know, it's like packing. I don't want to overestimate, but I also don't want to underestimate either. So, um, and then I do have, I want to bring something vanilla. So I have to decide, you know what, I think I'm going to switch out my turtle pearl, what does it all mean? And I am going to put my sparkly birdie bots because it matches my bag really well and it's it screams fall. So I do want some vanilla socks. There they are. So vanilla socks are coming and I really need to decide between these two projects. And I think that's probably all I will take, as I said, I have two more knit vent projects I don't have the pattern for, and I think they will meet me on the other side. So that is how my mind is working now, trying to prep all the knitting, making sure that I have enough to do in the car, but not overwhelming myself either. So anyway, that is what I have to share on bins and bobs today, or bits and bobs. And uh, that definitely is way, way too much. Thank you so much for joining me on the Comfy Red Couch this week. I hope that you've had a chance to sit down and relax while I have chattered on about what I had worked on in the past month and all of the projects that I have planned ahead. And of course, some of them I can't share too many details about right now because they are test knits, but in the weeks and months ahead, I am so excited to be able to share those with you. I am wishing you a wonderful bit of time ahead till I podcast fully again. I do hope that you will join me for Vlogtober when I'm just going to do some daily things. On Tuesday, I'm going to go get my hair cut. Um, the move happens. The first part of the move starts on Wednesday. 
and then we are going to be doing some traveling so I'm really excited to share my journey from Toronto to the Vancouver area with you and I hope that you will join me so in the meantime have a wonderful day and I will see you when I see you I really have to be realistic when I am choosing projects to take on this journey. It is going to be about six days of driving, about eight hours a day. And while I would absolutely love to cast on my amazing Fleece Artist National Parks Canada 150 yarns and work on my northeasterly as we drive across the country because it just sounds like such a romantic idea to to pull these yarns where each skein represents one of the Canadian provinces. I would love to do it but I also know that I want to get these other projects done as well and um, Oh, I had hoped to cast this on sometime this fall, but I think it's going to have to wait till we get to the Vancouver side. So my, my northeasterly is going to have to wait until I am westerly, I think. So, yeah. oh, I've been holding back putting these in the to be packed to go with the mover bin, but crinkle, crinkle goodness. I think it just has to be set with the mover. Even though my romantic self says, take it with me, take it with me, but my realistic self needs to win this one. <laughs>